Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this afternoon's matchup between the Jets and the 49ers. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Bill? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. First down coming up. Gore to the right side and that's enough for a first down what a job that time by the offensive line that hole was so big you could have drove a car through it the running back hit it full speed and then allowed him to get down the field and get that long run Bolden in the slot First and ten, Gore's got the carry once more. That was a nice run that time by the offense, picking up those yards. And any time you gain more than three yards on a running play in the National Ohio, Football League, Ohio. it is deemed successful. And here we have second down. And the give to Frank Gore. Frank's free, has some space to work with. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. Colin Kaepernick, under center. Now first and 10. And he's taken down. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up a sack early in the game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up the set. He'll throw it over the middle. Sticks to his hands. Well, I think early in the game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that and take it on down into the end zone. They've got a first down now after that catch. Play Fox running down. Pass is intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they got to be able to do everything. they got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. And Ivory's lined up behind his quarterback as the single back, bringing the play to an end. being stopped at the line of scrimmage it's now second down and ten and ivory is gonna take the handoff now well these plays do look ugly but they don't work it's it's second down and you run the running play hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier but when you lose yards like this third long tough to do Third down, following the run. Into the open flat. Got a big lane. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. 
And Curley is a receiver in the slot. Gets away from the pressure. That pass play picks up the first down. Every quarterback in the NFL loves this coverage where you got four defensive backs all playing deep. So in routes, anything across the middle, usually it's wide open. Good job of the quarterback taking advantage of the defense that time. They break through, tackle them behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. After running it, it's second down. Smith is in the shotgun. Alden Smith with the quarterback takedown. Pressuring the quarterback, that's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time, the blitz, it was quick, it was fast, and they get a sack on the quarterback. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? How did he drop that? This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. They'll take it at the 20. First down here. Hand off to the right. Going to take it the distance. He's at the 50, the 40. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator, so hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. This play set up by the long gainer. Back to the ground, trying to find an opening. To the right. When you have a defense, it's not playing good techniques. They're selling out, overplaying plays. Well, you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Second down coming up, and the second quarter is underway with this snap. And he'll step out of bounds. The offense picks up another first down and extends this drive. They are, Jim. They're marching down the field, and I give all the credit to the offensive line. They are dominating the defense right now. Colin Kaepernick under center. Run it again. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Two tight ends. Second and 12, looks to his left. Perfectly thrown. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made into the end zone for the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. setting up for the kickoff. They're setting up return. And the tackle's made right around the 26-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. Quarterback flips it to the running back. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. He's scrambling now, challenging the defenders to the right side. The defense had that one covered. Well, that's just an awful job by the offensive line. They break down almost immediately, but a nice job by the quarterback, able to get outside the pocket and keep the play alive. Geno Smith will take it from the gun. The Jets get a first down. 
That's a terrible job by the defense at the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover them down the field, and you give up the first down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. Second down coming up. Quarterback drops back, play action. Looking to the right side and throwing. Caught it, but he's out of bounds. That's a nice route that time by the wide receiver. Running the corner route, and the quarterback just throws it too far and misses it. Wide receivers are bunched up. It'll be third and one. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job by this offense. Had it, but dropped it. Do one thing at a time. Catch the football. Then do the next thing, run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. And Curley's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. In trouble now. He's got some daylight. He steps out. This has been a nice little drive by the offense. They started out in bad field position. Look at them now inside the red zone. Let's see if they can pay it off. Marching down the field and taking their time. And Ivory's taking the handoff. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short gain in the red zone. Two-minute warning. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. Guys, I just spoke with a Jets official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. What a drive this has been. Third and four. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Should be what we call a gimme. It converts on the three. That was a nice long drive by the offense that time, and it stalls out, but good job by the kicker coming in and putting three points on the board. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. He's got a chance to return this one. A foot race to the end zone. This big return's gonna set up his team in excellent field position. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. They face first down. Running it like it's an option play. He's brought down at the 30-yard line. Good job by the running back coming in there, breaking the tackle, picking up some extra yards. That's after being hit and knocked out earlier in the game, too. Two tight ends. Second and one. Getting sacked. 
quarterback's got to know when it's inside of two minutes and that clock is moving. You want to get the football down the field and out of bounds. Holds on to the football too long, gets the sack, and that just kills uh, the time management. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Frank Gore is in the backfield. The Jets signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. They'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Well, they don't get it on fourth down. That was, man, that was a quick drive, wasn't it, Jim? That was just bad play calling, bad execution, and go to the sideline. That's where you deserve to be. Now on first down. Trying to work that left side. And he was wide open. Tackled down right around the 48. Well, that was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. And Curley's lined up now as a slot receiver. Smith will now take it from the gun, running away from the pressure. He's looking to the right. Fan intercepted! Breaks away. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Frank Gore is in the backfield. Gore is handed the football. So many things you can do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The Jets with a nickel look here on defense. Second and 13. A takeaway. He's brought down. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. And Ivory is going to secure the handoff. Good job by the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. So that's going to do it for the first half. 49ers are up in this one. We're back here now in this one where the 49ers lead by four. He'll start his return. The tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. <laughs> Offense lines up here. First and 10, action fake. Looking for an open receiver on the right. It's intercepted! Tackles made. The linebackers nowadays are so talented. They can just do everything. Uh, they're strong enough to stop the run. But how about this interception? Good job. Good reading of the quarterback and a nice kick. Nickel formation here for the defense. They're going to get him this time. Well, you're on the offensive side. My gosh, you know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. Tossing it to the running back. Breaks free. That's a gain of seven. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Third down and ten. They're running the option. Here's the pitch. Muscles through the defender. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation.
the defense comes out in the nickel. Working that left side. Ball's picked off. A halt. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. And Holmes is lined up in the slot. First and ten. Play fake here. Going for the deep ball. Stacked up at that point. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Throwing now to his left, right where it had to be. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. It's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. And Holmes is in the slot, escaping the pressure. Throws to the right. That's an interception. They bring him to the turn. Well, nowadays, your linebackers, they've got to be able to do everything. They've got to be big enough to get in there and stop the run, and also athletic enough to be able to get in position and make an interception. Good job by the linebacker. On first down. Challenging the defenders to the right side, and incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Ohio! Ohio! Second down. And Manningham's got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. Eyeing that left side, runs out of bounds. Zone defense doesn't work in the NFL like it used to. Good job by the quarterback reading that zone and finding the open guy. That reception gave them the first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Going to lose yards here. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. He sends the halfback in motion. Second and 12. Gets away from the pressure. He's got some daylight. Quarterback giving himself up. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Getting away from the pressure. He's got a little bit of daylight here for 14. Good job by the offense. Gets another first down. You can tell by looking down on the field that defense hands on their knees. They are getting tired. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. They motion the receiver around to the other side. On the run. 49ers in for the score. Good job that time by the defense. They cover the receivers. Nobody's open, but who's watching the quarterback? Nobody. Good scramble for the touchdown by the QB. Makes the PAT. The Jets are ready to return the kick.
he'll have a chance to take off. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. First down here. And Ivory is going to take the handoff now. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. He's looking to the right here on this throw. It's Navarro Bowman who brings him down. That was a nice curl route by the wide receiver. In the old days, they used to call that the button hook. First down here after the completion. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. That leads us to second down. Trying to make something happen. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. Let's go. Split backfield here, third and seven. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Oh, that could have been intercepted, but he couldn't hold on. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Jets team official. Geno Smith's injury seems to be relatively minor, or at least it's minor enough that he'll be back on the field shortly. Now, they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunately for them, they got it that time. Looking to scramble. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Geno Smith, I think what caught everybody by surprise when they started watching his, his uh, film at West Virginia University is how good he can run. How about that run that time by him? Nobody open. He avoids the rush and picks up some good yards. Throws to the right. Incomplete. Just stick the football on him. When you see a receiver run around like this, they're going to the corner, drive it, throw it on a line drive, so that way there can't be a mistake. They face third and eight after failing to connect on that last pass play. Almost intercepted. Split backfield here. Smith's going to take it from the gun. Escaping the pressure. The ball is out. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. First down, offense readying for the snap. He's got room. Picks up nine. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator coming with the counter run. And the defense being too aggressive, they're over-pursuing. So you do the little counter, go the opposite direction, and it works well. Bolden's a receiver in the slot. Frank Gore gets it here. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Defense comes out of the nickel. The 49ers now move the chains. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. Colin Kaepernick under center. First and ten. Launches it down the field. But they can't connect. I don't think there was a miscommunication between the receiver and the quarterback. The quarterback just overthrew the pass. Black round! Black round! Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Let's 
Second and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. Had it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Frank Gore is in the backfield. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Third and ten. Scrambling out of the pocket, challenging the defenders to the right side. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Here's the first snap after the big play. They give it to the running back. Picks up about eight. Closer defense gets to the end zone. Their backs are against it. The tougher they get. At that time, the offense still able to pick up a few yards on an inside run. Back to the running back. Drives ahead. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. And he's going to pitch it here. Runs it across for the score. Touchdown. you got to be tough in the NFL no matter what position you play. And if you're running back, the toughest position in the league, my man was hurt. He was out of the game for a little bit. But now he comes back in and shows you why he's one of the best in the league. Nice touchdown run. the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down all the way. Set up screen. Out of completion this time. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. It's second down and three. Looking to the right side and throwing. Has the reception all alone. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's going to be okay. And once he gets a little um, uh, situated here, I think he'll be back in the game. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Second down now. Smith's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The quarterback. Throws it on the mark. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. The quarterback is coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. What a catch. Touchdown. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. Running into the kicker. Defense. Running into the kicker. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. Receiving team has the recovery. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Handoff to the pack. If you want to be a successful running back in the NFL, you got to overcome some adversity. He was knocked out, injured a little bit early in the first quarter. Here he comes in later in the first quarter, breaks a tackle, Ohio, makes a long Ohio. run. That'll be second and four after the running play. Yet. 
will run it. Here's the handoff. Taking off on his way. Impressive piece of running by Gore. To have a great defense in this league, when you get blocked, if somebody gets out in the open, you think there goes an easy touchdown. That's why you need speed. So when somebody makes the mistake, the speed covers it up. They were able to catch them. 49ers in the end zone. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Pitches it back. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Hill's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Going to take off with it. He steps out. Well, good job that time by the defense getting pressure on the quarterback, but you can't let him break the pocket. Look at this time. He breaks the pocket. He's looking down the field. Nobody open, so he decides to run and picks up some big yards. Gets away from the pressure and slides to a stop. Second down here, it's Smith stepping back, looking over the defense from the shotgun formation. Under pressure and incomplete. Got to have good feet as a quarterback in today's game. and it, Well, that's always been the case. But when you get under pressure, you got to be able to move outside and see if you can make a play. The offense needs six yards here on third down after that incompletion. Third and six coming up. The defense, they have a lead here in the fourth quarter, so they're willing to give up short pass completions, but good job by the offense. Smith's got it in the gun. He's scrambling now. And the quarterback will bail out on this play and slide feet first. You can't always go for it on fourth and short, but I like this call. They make it. The offense executes, and they pick up the first down. First and ten. In trouble now. Gains about three. Powell lined up in the backfield. He wants to go deep. Dives. And he has it. They're in the red zone. And we're in the late going. And they need to score as quickly as possible. Well, this is where your offensive coordinator's got to call a play that gives you a chance to score quickly. Find something that goes up the seams or vertical uh, down the field. In his hands. Complete. Touchdown. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. Well, this Ohio, works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. Brings it in. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Jets getting ready for the kickoff. Here's the kick, and this one's just a little squib kick. Gets out past the 30 and brought down at the 35. Bolden's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten up the middle. He's got a wide open alley. The Jets call a timeout. They're first. There's no way he can be 100% after being injured earlier in today's game. But he has come in and kept on playing and gotten all the carries and done a good job with it. Second and four. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Gets a hand on that one to knock it away. Good job by the linebacker that time. Saw the receiver coming in his area. Read the quarterback. 
and in wonderful position to knock the pass down. Gore is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Looking across the middle, he fires it in there tight. The 49ers will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Here they come to the line of scrimmage, the 21-yard line. One more snap and we can call it a day. Throws the pass. Kept got what he wanted. Touchdown. Well, Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the lights, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. That's it. This game is over.